and build from the bottom up. You had to create a new foundation. And I don't think that was easy. So I commend you on that. I'm very proud of you on that because what I'm seeing is you being the queen of your world, the king of your world. I'm seeing you be um, vulnerable enough to trust other outlets and resources that will lead you in the right way. I am so, so proud of you for taking ownership, for you being able to spot out the areas that you needed to change in. At some point, you were in a community. Perhaps this is a community, tribe, family, unit, maybe perhaps a religious construct. You discovered the truth about what it is that they were doing, offering, and promoting. I do feel like there may have been like some fear mongering here as well. I'm definitely seeing that you were entrapped in a community, an environment, or belief system organized by people organized by people it, and it feels like you were convinced to be in this thing by your with your family so it's like my family this is part of tradition this is part of community this is what i have to do they said this is correct so i'm going to follow the way you realize and discover that the um environment that you were in with these people who were teaching what they were teaching and what they are teaching are lies and they were not trustworthy so to me there's some contradictions going on here i think you stayed along and played along with it or went along with it to appease to the family to go along to get along um i also feel like there's a bit of fear mongering that was going on as well so to me it's almost like if I don't do this thing, I will be condemned. So at some point you had to choose freedom. And I think that was very, very hard for you to do. The beginning part of the transition that there was a lot of anger, upset, a lot of harbored emotions towards everyone and everything. I think you had to um, peel back the layers and dissect what emotional healing was required at that time. What did you need to heal at that time? Um, I think someone definitely let you down to me. There's like um, a, a feminine energy that had you sacrifice or get, uh, convince you to sacrifice or give up things. Like they put a high level of responsibility on you. It's like you're teaching me to do this, but you're not doing it. You're doing the opposite of me. I think you harbored that anger for a long, 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 long time. What I'm seeing is that when there was ties, the ties were cut, there was a disconnect. I feel like you had a whole bunch of displaced anger towards life. It feels as if you were so enraged, so used, you felt so used and taken advantage of. I think it was very hard for you to trust. To me, I see you having to deconstruct reality. You had to deconstruct uh, potentially your whole your whole life here. So you had to learn how to recommit to yourself, to your own understanding while stripping away the knowledge, the false knowledge and lies of others. Because you did all of the work, because you did some heavy lifting when it comes to spiritual reconstruction, you are being blessed in this season. You have probably already been blessed. They're going to multiply. They're going to be times 10, times 20, times 100. I see that unfolding for you. I am so proud of you that you were able to lift the baggage off of you and give it back. You know, when you're at the airport and sometimes when the, the, the baggage carrier thing comes around, sometimes you pick up the wrong bag. Sometimes you pick up other people's baggages and you have to take it back. I'm proud of you for taking it back. It's not yours. It was never yours to carry. I do see you trying to come together with other family members or people who were a part of this community. Maybe they're realizing the truth. I don't think that it's wrong for you to be con con cautious of it and being aware of what what this could do, what this could create, what this could turn into. But I do see that someone wants to re want to reconcile. They want to reconcile different. I'm really proud of you. Continue on being great. You have greatness here. You have found strength within your weakest hours. And, and that that is truly commendable. Peace.